this short video, I'm going to create a power app that will take a photo using the camera on my device and then save it to OneDrive. So to get started, we'll select new app, then canvas app. I'm going to create it as a phone app and we will call it take pic. Now once the app's provisioned, which hopefully shouldn't take too long, the first thing that we're going to add is the camera control. And we'll use this to take the photo. So I'll just extend that out. What you should see now is a quick preview of me. The way that the camera control works is that when you click into it, it will take an image. So what I will do is I will also add the image control so that we can display any photos that have been taken. By default, this will be blank. What we need to do is to update this so that it points to the photo that's been taken by the camera app, the camera control. So we do camera one dot photo. And then if we just quickly run the app, if we click anywhere within the camera control, it'll take a photo and it should appear beneath. And there we go. And I can do other things to show that it's changing. The next thing that we need to do is to figure out a way to take this photo that we've taken and save it to OneDrive. And the way that we will do that is using the Power Automate flow. So we'll go to the Power Automate section and then select Create New Flow. We'll select Create from Blank. And the first thing that we'll do is I'll give it a name. So we'll call this Save Pick. We'll add a step. And the first step that we need to add is something to convert the photo that's submitted by the Power App into a binary file. By default, it will be a base64 encoded file, um, which we can't save or will not properly render in OneDrive. So what we'll do for this is we'll add a compose action that will take the information that's passed from the Power App in base64 and convert it to a binary file. So we'll select inputs and then ask in Power Apps. And there we can see we've got the compose inputs. We then need to go to expression and we need to use the data URI to binary. And within brackets, we then need to put the compose inputs that we just created and then hit OK. What we then need to do is to just remove this because that's not required. So what we've got within the compose block is this data URI to binary that uses the compose input, which is the input from the Power App. The next thing that we need to do is to add a step for OneDrive for us to actually create the file. So we'll just have a quick look for OneDrive here, then select create file. Action. We need to select the folder path to keep this as simple as possible. I'm just going to store it within the root. We need to give it a file name and I'm just going to call it me.png. So the format that the camera control uses to take photos is PNG, which is the reason why I've used that extension. And the contents of the file, we need to set this as the output of the compose action, which we can see here. Once we've done that, hit save, and then we'll go back to the app and we need to hook everything up. Okay, so a few seconds, we should see our Power Automate flow appear, which is called Save Pick 2. What I'll then do is add a button that runs this Power Automate flow and passes this image to it. And the way that we will do that is I will add a button. And I'll call the button Take Pick. We then need to change this so that it points to the image that's been taken by the camera control. So if you remember, it was camera one dot photo. So what we'll do here is update the on select property and configure this so that it runs the flow. So if we start typing the flow, we can see the name of it appears there, save pick two. If we do dot run and then within brackets, we then need to provide the inputs and the input will be camera one dot photo. Okay, so if we then go back and preview the app, what should happen now if I take a picture and then 
hit this button here is it should hopefully fire the power automate flow which will take the picture that's been taken and save it to the root of my OneDrive for business. So if we'll just hit the preview button here, I'll hit take pick. And then it should submit this pick that we've taken to OneDrive via the Power Automate flow. So if we come out of this now and we go to my OneDrive and I'll refresh it. What we should hopefully see in the root of this is a file called me.png, which is the photo that I've just taken. So if we do a refresh and hit that. You can then see the image that I took. So if you recall earlier, when I use the camera control to take it. If for whatever reason I wanted to take another image, if we just go to preview the app, just put my arm a different way, hit the control, and then by hitting take pick, it will submit the picture that was taken to the Power Automate flow. What it should do is it should overwrite the image that was there. So if we go back to OneDrive and then do a refresh, what we should hopefully see is a slightly different picture. There we go. So that was the one that I just took there. So to quickly run you through uh, what we did as part of building the app, we added a camera control to take a photo using the default camera on my device. We added the image control to display the photo that had been taken. We created a Power Automate flow that takes the photo that's been taken and saves it to OneDrive. And we added a button, which is here, which essentially runs the Power Automate flow and passes it the photo that's been taken by the camera control. So hopefully that was useful. Thanks a lot for watching.